Coming up on the Globe Sports Corner, the Goshen College Athletic Locker Rooms are under renovation. Justin Crew comes down to the studio to look back on the team's performance this season, and Allison Priggy looks back on her big game to lead the Maple Leafs to victory. That's all coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome back to another episode of the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Tanner Camp. After years of being in the works, the Goshen College Athletic Department is finally underway for renovation of their new locker rooms. Nick Yutze has more on the story. Life as a student athlete at Goshen College is about to get a whole lot sweeter. The locker rooms inside Gundam Gymnasium on GC's campus are currently getting a makeover as plans of renovation took start about two weeks ago. Both faculty and students within the athletic department are excited about the new look. You know, I think with this new locker room renovation, we really wanted to bring something new for the athletes. And for the public locker rooms, it'll be something excited for our community to use as well. So we wanted to, I think we, they wanted to bring something new, something to help these athletes to, you know, like reward them for all of the hard work they put in, for them to have a nice place. Because a lot of times, you know, you'll go to a bigger school with a lot of money and they have these really nice, like I'm sure Purdue and Indiana, they both have these really, really nice, like big locker rooms. They're D1 schools. And so I think, you know, Goshen College here is really trying to bring some of that aspect here and to really uh, help these student athletes have a really great place to train, to work out, to play games. So, I, you know, they just wanted to bring something new for them to help them along and to show that we really do care about them. So I think everyone's really excited for the new locker rooms. You know, when we go to away games, uh, oftentimes some of the schools in our league have some really nice locker rooms, even for the away teams. Uh, and just so seeing some of the previews of what the locker rooms are going to be like, I think it's really good for the college. I think it's really good, um, especially for recruiting. When students come here and they see really nice facilities, I think there is, um, it gives Goshen a new edge if they have some updated locker room. Each student athlete participating in an indoor sport will be designated their own locker when they are in season. Each locker features a spacious interior with a lockbox for valuable items to be stowed away. The men's team locker room is nearing completion already with women's and public locker rooms to follow. This project is scheduled to com be completed before the new year. Reporting from Globe Sports, I'm Nick Yutze. As a member of the Goshen College men's basketball team, I'm excited to find out how the new locker rooms are going to be looking. When we return, I'll be with Justin Crew to talk about some Goshen College women's soccer. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Tanner Camp, and to my left, I am with Justin Crew, head coach for the Goshen College women's soccer team. Coach, thank you so much for coming down to the studio. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. So your team made it to the Crossroads League tournament. It's the first time since 2016 that the team has made that. Uh, what were your initial thoughts when you realized that you had that seventh seed in the Crossroads League tournament? Oh, uh, I think it's mixed between excitement and relief <laughs> a little bit. You know, it's always a struggle to get in and a battle uh, in, our, in our league to get into the tournament. So definitely excited about that, um, that accomplishment for sure. So, again, I'm sure that all the ladies were especially excited. You know, they worked really hard. They had some really good uh, wins over the season. So uh, what was the first thing that you told them as you got ready for Marion during that match? Uh, we just talked about, you know, obviously it's a, it's a tough team and they're, they're ranked 15th in the country, but we just talked about that it's a new game. It's a new season. You know, we break our season into phases, preseason, out of conference, conference, and then postseason. So we just talked about that, that it's a new season, it's a new phase. And, it's, and, and quite honestly, it's hard to beat a team twice in the, in the same year. So we just kind of were talking about things to be confident about. And while unfortunately your team did end up losing 5-1 to them. Uh, you know, Thanks for that, Tanner. <laughs> Thanks for that, Blake. So, no, still, still very <laughs> impressive, though, that you made it against uh, a very highly a team, you know, top 15 in the country. Absolutely. Uh, what did you tell the ladies afterwards? You know, probably a lot of emotions going through. You know, they uh, had a 1-0 lead at halftime. So what did you tell your team, though, um, after that game? 
Yeah, you know, just talked about how proud I have of, them, uh, of I was of them, how proud of their e of the effort they gave. Certainly, there were some emotions with the seniors, of course, first time or the last time walking off the field. But just you know, really proud of their effort, really proud of of just going out and giving everything that they that they gave, and and the battle to, like you said, have a one zero lead on a team that is, uh, I think, the last statistic I heard was forty and one at home in the last three years. Um, so I thought we did great effort, but just how much I was proud of them and proud of their effort. So the team ended up finishing with a record of seven, nine, and one, and then a two, six, and one in conference. So, you know, kind of as you go through that and think of your record, uh, what are your thoughts about how the team played throughout the whole season on where they finished up? Yeah, you know, I mean, the, the you know, the, the seven wins was the most wins um, for women's soccer since 2013, so that's a positive. I think we took a step forward. Um, disappointed because I think a couple of those early games out of conference got away from us a little bit where we could have had some ones and flipped that maybe to a 9-7-1 record. But happy with the progress, happy with where I feel we're headed, um, but not satisfied. Definitely. And uh, as we kind of look back on the whole season, you know, there are a lot of ups, a lot of downs. But as you look back on this season and more importantly this team, uh, what was your favorite part about this team uh, and overall this season? Oh, man, there's so many. That's a good question. There's a lot of, a lot of favorites about this team. You know, it's just a great group of young women. Um, their effort, their commitment, um, how they hung together and stuck together. You know, we had a five-game winning streak, um, which was, well, I think, the longest one in, in a very long time. Um, we had some big wins, um, some fun wins. Um, so I, I think just it's harder for me to pick out just one favorite moment, but I enjoy this group. It's a great group, a hardworking group, a fun group. The bus rides were fun. Um, you know, some, some fun things there that happened, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. That's not necessarily a, a straight answer, but I just really enjoy this team, and it was just a really good, uh, for my second season, just a lot of really good things happened this year. Well, Coach, thank you so much again for coming down to the studio, and um, best of luck and great season again uh, to the entire team. Thanks, Dan. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. When we return, I will be with Allison Priggy to talk more about her performance against Mount Mercy. That's up next on the Globe Sports Corner. for the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago, it's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. To my left, I am with Allison Priggy, pretty familiar face here on the Sports Corner. She's the senior forward for the Goshen College women's basketball team. Allison, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Tanner. So you had a very impressive game this past weekend. You scored 27 points in the win against Mount Mercy. You also shot 9 for 16 from the field. What were your thoughts going into that game? Um, you know, I was just excited to be playing in Wisconsin. Um, we came off a loss to Cardinal Stritch the day before, and I think everyone was kind of feeling that. And, you know, for me, I'd been putting in um, a lot of extra time getting some shots up, and I hadn't really seen that translate yet into any of the games so far. So for me, I was just happy to see uh, some of my hard work paying off there, and I was able to help the team. So I was excited about that. And you mentioned, you know, you put in a lot of hard work, uh, also knowing you were the only senior on this team. And that can be kind of tough, you know. You don't have really other members to kind of help push you to that next level. So going into your senior year, uh, what was your mindset or what did you do over the summer to get ready for your final season as a Maple Leaf? You know, for me, I really just wanted to make the most of this. Um, it was my last year, and so I wanted to leave here with no regrets, knowing that I did everything I could, um, put in as much time as I could. And so this summer, I spent a lot of time working on my shot, trying to get up a couple hundred shots a week. I was in the gym almost every day, um, working on some other parts of my games, uh, finishing at the rim, trying to become more of an attacker. And um, so this summer, I was just trying to add some more elements to my game there. And like I said, just trying to make the most of my last year. And you had mentioned that you had um, gotten in the gym, you know, gotten a lot of shots over the summer. Um, uh, for the first few games, you know, uh, didn't quite exactly find the stroke like you had really wanted to early on, but you especially found that against Mount Mercy. Uh, again, going into that, did you kind of imagine yourself uh, back in the gym working on your shot? Yeah, so to be honest with you, it just felt different from the beginning. Um, I... 
had this tendency to put a lot of pressure on myself. I have really high expectations, and I don't like to like, I don't like to let anyone down. And so, um, I think the first couple of games, I could feel myself really tight, just not shooting like myself. And uh, in that fourth game there, I just felt really loose in the warm up. And going into the game, I tried not putting so much pressure on myself, and I think that really translated well into the game. So again, as I mentioned before, you were the only senior on this team, but you also bring a lot of leadership to the program, you know, having a significant role in all four years of your career here. Um, what was kind of the message that you wanted to deliver to your team as you entered your final season here at Goshen College? That's a really tough question. Um, I guess, I don't know, for me, it would be, I want them to make the most of it. You know, for me, I, of course, have enjoyed all the basketball aspects of it and being able to play, but to be honest, like the last two years, we didn't find a lot of success. They were rebuilding years. So those are really tough times. And so for the girls, I just want them to understand that it's, you know, it's more than just basketball. You learn a lot of life lessons and the relationships that I've built from this program are lifelong. I feel very blessed uh, to have the friends that I do on the team. And so, you know, I just, I want them to understand that, you know, if you're not playing or you're not getting the minutes that you want, or you're not having the year that you want to have, like, there's so much more that this program offers, and I just I want them to see that. So, again, being here for those four years, you've been with a lot of different teams, and you've seen a lot of different teammates. Uh, but what is it about this team for this year uh, that makes uh, other teams in the past different? Yeah, I've had some really good relationships with some of the other girls, but if you ask anyone on our team, it just feels so different this year. I feel so blessed to be able to get along with my teammates the way that I do. Um, it's just different this year. On and off the court, we have each other's back, and – our culture is the best that it's ever been. And I think that's really starting to translate on the floor. And I know that, you know, after I leave next year, it's only going to get better for them. And I look really forward to uh, seeing what they can do. And finally, the team is off to a two and two start, you know, on the new year. Both those uh, losses, you know, really close, you know, one against Aquinas, the other against Cardinal Stritch. Uh, what are you most looking forward to uh, throughout the season as, you know, you're in full swing now, conference is starting to come up here in the next few weeks. What are you most looking forward to about your final season? Yeah, I think that we've definitely been um, underlooked in conference play, and I think that we're really going to surprise some people this year. We have a lot of different aspects to our game. Um, we're throwing on that press now, and we have like uh, really good personnel uh, in that press as well as a lot of scoring weapons, and uh, we were picked eighth in the preseason poll, but I really think that we have a chance of finishing higher, um, and I'm just really excited to, uh, to surprise some people. Well, Allison, thank you so much again for coming down to the studio and to come down to talk. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. When we come back, I will have a look at your Maple Leafs coming up in action this week. That's up next on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College. Everyone's at home here. Students from around the world and down the street find inspiration and lifelong friends in our unique, supportive community, right here in northern Indiana. Cutting-edge academics, real-world learning, and small, personalized classes make the difference, all surrounded by world-class culture and championship sports. Most importantly, it all leads to a record of amazing outcomes in diverse fields of study. From pre-med to social work, broadcasting to accounting, schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. It's time to look ahead at your Maple Leafs in action this week. The Goshen College women's basketball team will be at home Friday and Saturday as they host the Maple Leafs shootout. They'll take on Roosevelt University on Friday, followed by Calumet College on Saturday. The Maple Leaf men's and women's cross-country teams will travel to Bethel University to compete in the Crossroads League Championship. And finally, the men's basketball team is home in the Ruth Gunnam Gymnasium on Saturday, taking on Concordia University and hosting the Movember Mustache Game. Members of the basketball team will grow their facial hair out, including myself, to raise awareness for prostate cancer. Thank you for watching this episode of the Sports Corner. Be sure to follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel at 91.1 The Globe, and check out our website at globeradio.org. We'll see you next time on the Globe Sports Corner.